Some instructors say this rhythm looks like a sawtooth, and some say it looks like birds flying off into a beautiful sunset. I say it looks like birds in the upstairs of the heart, the atria. Who let the birds out? Chirp, chirp, chirp. <laughs> We're talking about atrial flutter, similar to AFib, but the heart's electrical signals spread through the atria in a faster and regular rhythm, instead of irregular, like found in VFib. So this rhythmic sawtooth flutter appears on the EKG as sequence mounds of atrial disruption. So the simplest way to remember a flutter is to say, I saw the birds fluttering. Birds in the addict atria that keep on flapping and fluttering their wings in sequence together in unison. So what's really going on in the body? Well, as you guys know, the heart has one main pacemaker and two backup pacemakers. In this case, our main pacemaker, the SA node, lost control as boss pacemaker. Just like in atrial fibrillation, once again, the atria have gone wild. Woo! Conduction now begins outside the SA node in another part of the atria. But the big difference in a flutter is that impulses are more unison and they look like a flock of birds fluttering their wings together. So using our five steps, let's interpret this EKG. Step one, the rate will be between 75 to 150 beats per minute. Step two, the rhythm is usually regular and evenly spaced out between our R peaks, which is not like a fib, which is irregular and unorganized. Now, P waves, there's going to be no P waves because the atria are not contracting. Instead, you'll get an organized flutter that kind of looks like teeth on a saw or birds flapping their wings in unison. Step four, our PR interval, there's going to be none because the atria are not contracting. And step five, the QRS, usually normal and upright. All right, guys, thanks for watching only one part in our full video here at simplenursing.com. If you guys click the link right here, you can get access to our full course as well as our new quiz bank, which is really nifty. And also, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. And last, but definitely not least, a big thank you to our script team and nursing family who helped us put together all these nifty videos.